much. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Buenos dias en español. Good morning. In the German that once was the native tongue of the settlers of this community of Salem, North Carolina. My father came to this country in 1964 from Costa Rica. He was just 21 years old, leaving behind my mother, my brother, and me. He established the Costa Rican community first in Amsterdam, New York, and then in 1968, the wider Latino community in Lincolnton, North Carolina. When my family reunited, my brother Carlos and I were the first Latino children to enter the Lincoln County school systems. I like to joke that when we first went to school in Lincolnton, there were little white boys and girls, little black boys and girls, and Lewis and Carlos Lobo. <laughs> Next year, my family will mark the 50th anniversary of my father and my father and mother's one-way ticket with Destin. So, I recall as a young boy going to the bank. I've been in banking 30 years. I remember as a young boy going to the bank in my hometown of Lincolnton with my mother and father. When the banker stepped out of the office for a moment, my mother looked at me and said, you can one day be like him. My parents believed in me, and I believed in my parents. Today, nearly 50% of children entering the public school system are multicultural. One third of the peoples of the United States are of Asian, African, and Latino heritage. What does this mean for the United States? and for the state of North Carolina. Can we and our children become an economic and cultural miracle for America? Can we improve President Lincoln's great notion spoken at Gettysburg during the American Civil War? That we are here highly resolved that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom and that this government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Well, every moment a new child is born in America or an immigrant arrives, this country is indeed given a new birth of freedom. Can we live up to the soaring optimism of Martin Luther King, that I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of the skin, but by the content of their character. When one third of the nation is multicultural and our children are growing in mixed environments, color and ethnicity will in time cease to separate us. the vision of President Kennedy to ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Well, it bodes well that this generation of Americans are more concerned about our resources, justice towards their peers, and as greater connectivity across the globe than those of my generation ever conceived. It is the freedom that the American Constitution affords us, that spawns the creativity, innovation, and self-improvement that helps us solve our problems and positively impact the world. America is still the land of opportunity for those who have an open heart and a willing soul to work hard enough and strive well enough. Everyone here chose to come chose to take a risk and start a new life in this country, and that takes courage. You are the parents 
of the next generation of American entrepreneurs, skilled workers, professionals, and educators. It is so important for your children and your grandchildren to know your story as I have shared the story of my father's journey with my own children, nieces and nephews. We chose to call America home. We chose to be Americans. It is our responsibility to become good citizens and good neighbors by giving back to our country with our time and talent. Let me be clear, democracy is not the natural order of things. America was the greatest nation conceived by the mind of man. But you must do your part, plus a little extra. Our freedom and way of life are not automatic. Someone else should not pull your weight, even as we are the most generous people in the history of mankind, we are each ultimately responsible for ourselves. And only then will society continue to create the greatest benefits to its citizens. I call that the freedom to be. By having the freedom to be, you can express yourself without fear of being put in jail or killed. You have a voice. It is called the right to vote. And that is one of the reasons why I treasure my status as an American citizen. Millions of individuals have perished at home and abroad for you to have the right to vote. Choosing our leaders from amongst our neighbors is uniquely American. No monarchy, no governing class, or religious dominance is prevalent here. We recently witnessed the impact of diverse populations on the outcome of the presidential election. You may or may not have liked the outcome, but the multicultural impact was real. Voting is your most significant responsibility as a new American. And do not let anyone deter you from it. If you are like me, every time I hear the National Anthem, you will think about this moment and that you are a part of this great nation. You chose to change reality. It is because of your decision that the future of your children, family and friends will change forever. Facing reality requires us to make decisions about ourselves and those under our care. Just like my father became the hero in our family, you will be remembered by your descendants as the person who chose to change reality and provided great opportunity for others. It is called the road not taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better plain, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing were had them worn really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on the way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you and congratulations.